Hello. Oh, you aren't dead after all. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> oh, n no, your boat did sink. Most of it. Anyway, this is all that's left of it. It really was very stupid to be out that far in such a small boat when there was a storm coming. Did you not know there was a storm coming? Honestly, humans are so helpless. Hmm? I said humans are helpless. And I really shouldn't be helping you, but... That boat was nothing but splinters, and you were sinking, and... Well, you seem harmless enough. So if you don't tell, I won't. Am I a what? An, an angel. What's that? <laughs> I, I don't have wings. Humans are funny. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a bird. Do birds swim like this? Wings. <laughs> don't be silly. I have a tail. See? Well, how else do you think I'm pushing this little raft thing back to shore so fast? A mermaid. Oh, that's your word for us. Yes, I'm not one of those angel things, but like I said, it's probably best not to tell anyone. I'm not supposed to be helping you. You won't tell. All right, neither will I. I can keep a secret. <laughs> Honestly, how, how do you think up these things, scales? No, I don't have scales. It's not a fish tail. It's more like a whale. Look. Well, of course I have barnacles. I live in the water. You would too. Are you all right? I thought you were dead. You looked very dead. Okay, well, I'll get you to shore. It's going to take a little while. The storm threw you all about. My what? My name. Oh, we don't really use names. Not like humans do. Do you have a name? Huh, what a pretty sound. And that's what other humans call you. How interesting. I've never seen a human up close before. You're very pretty. Do all humans have dark skin like you? No, well, I like your colour. It's lovely. And your legs. <laughs> Isn't it strange to move about with two separate things? Oh, and your knees. <laughs> no, they are funny. They're so bendy. I, I'd rather my tail, I think. Sorry, what? Oh, I shouldn't be helping you because, well, it's kind of a law. Where to stay away from humans at all times. Because you're not safe. You kill things. But you don't seem like that. Some humans are. Well, <laughs> some of us aren't very nice either, I suppose. Well, for example, I'm sure you were out in your too small boat to be catching fish with those awful silver hook things. You weren't. Why were you out in your too small boat, then? You came all that way to look at the sky. Can't you see the sky from land? You like the water. Well, I didn't know humans could like the water that much. Oh, you have toes as well. I've heard about toes. Oh, how strange. No, no, stop wiggling them. No. Oh, oh. And you don't have webbing between your fingers. Oh, yes, I do. Look. 
You can touch it if you like. As long as I can touch you back. No, I'm not slimy. Why would you think that? Fish aren't slimy, they're just wet. And you, you're so odd feeling. You're all squishy. Can you walk and dance and run? <laughs> well, that is impressive, but I can hold my breath for an hour. How long can you hold yours? Seconds. Uh, only seconds. Not even a minute. Oh. Well, it's just you. You were underwater for longer than a minute. I'm glad I helped you. Look, turn around. See? The shoreline's getting closer. I can't stay above the surface much longer, I might be seen. And like I was saying, not all humans are nice like you. But I'll stay around underneath to keep watch and make sure you don't float back out to sea. I have so many more questions. Can I see you again? You're funny and nice and pretty. There's this cave. I think you can get there from land. I'm sure I've seen humans in there before. Um, I'm not supposed to go there either, but I do. <laughs> um, it's... Oh, you know it. Uh, yes, can, can I meet you there? Two nights from now? You mustn't tell anyone about me. Please. Alright. No, I won't tell anyone about you. I'd get in so much trouble. I, th I think boats are coming out to get you. But before I go, can, can you think of a name for me? A human one. I I'd like one very much. Okay. <laughs> You'll give it to me when I see you next. I'd like that. They're getting too close, I have to go, but I hope I do see you again. Hello. <laughs> you did come back after all. I was worried you wouldn't. <laughs> I suppose I didn't think a human would actually keep their promise. There aren't other humans around, are there? Okay. And you're not uncomfortable sitting on the ground? It looks uncomfortable. Alright. Are you feeling better? You look much less dead tonight. <laughs> I'm glad. Well, and now that you're dry, your hair is so curly. No, it's lovely. It's so fluffy. <laughs> oh, you remembered. You thought of a human name for me. Really? Nova. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Does it mean anything? A type of star. Oh, you like stars, don't you? That's what you were looking at in your too small boat before the storm. Oh, you study them. And planets. Everything up there. But how do you see it all? Are humans very good at seeing? What's a telescope? Huh. It really lets you see that far away. Oh, my. Who 
teaches you this? Is it a great master of knowledge? University. What's that? A building full of masters, and are there books? Thousands. I sometimes see books underneath, but by the time they sink down, they're falling apart. I can't imagine thousands. Could, could you teach me about the stars? I'd like that. <laughs> there are so many things I'd like to learn about. Everyone underneath there. They're all so content. They're happy just as things are. Just swimming around the same waters with the same people and the same stories passed down generation after generation. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I feel like I have things to say, but when I say them, no one wants to listen. But you listen. You didn't interrupt me once. Oh. You, you are very kind. And I do like my name. Nova. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, yes, humans do tend to wear fabric over yourselves, don't you? Why? Yes, but why do you need covering? Is it very harsh up here above? Oh, but what's wrong with people seeing? Just a human thing. <laughs> you are strange creatures. I don't mind you seeing me without a top covering, but I can put one on if you like. I don't have one, but I could, um, oh, it's fine? Okay, well, if you're sure. I had so many questions and they've all fallen out of my head. Sorry, now I'm the one staring, you're just very pretty. I thought of a question. Do... Do humans pair? Pair, you know, when you choose a mate. Ah, yes, we do. My family isn't very happy with me. I still haven't chosen anyone, but... Like I said, they're just all the same. And none of them listen when I speak. You do, though. You listen. And you know so much. You haven't chosen either. Well, how funny would it be if we chose each other? <laughs> how ridiculous. Choosing a human. <clears throat> yes, you can ask me a question. Oh, there's a cave system that we live in. It's like a, a maze of canyons and reefs and coral and it's deep enough to be safe but we can go up for air if we need to and that's where we live and no why would i be scared of sharks orca whales yes you're right to be frightened of those but sharks are very sweet really it's not their fault that they have teeth it's boats that are dangerous. Not your one, though. The big ones, larger than whales. That's what we swim away from. Them and the orcas. You're just... Not at all what I expected. You're so kind and patient. I don't know. Would you be my friend? I'd like that. And you don't have any friends. Why? People say you're strange. Oh, I'm strange too. At least everyone underneath seems to think so. I don't think it's a bad thing. 
but I ask a lot of questions and it gets me into trouble. But you answer questions, so I like that you're strange and that I'm strange. We could be strange together. Um, I, I've thought of another question, but it's all right if you say no. Could I touch your hand again? Oh, you wanted to ask the same thing. <laughs> Can I? Oh, you're so soft and squidgy. I feel more leathery. Yes, I suppose I must. My nails are sharp. Well, yes, they need to be. But yours, yours aren't. They're so short. And the webbing between my fingers. Yes, you can touch it. I can feel it when you do that. Your hands are so strange. They're all separated and stubby. <laughs> and you're so dry. It's very odd feeling. <laughs> I need to get back. I couldn't slip away for very long this time, but I don't want to leave. The more I learn, the more I realise how stifling it is down there. Not the, not the place, just the Tradition is everything. There's a way of doing things, and why would anyone want to change that? But it hasn't done us much good, if you ask me. Hmm, no. There are laws. You must stick to the laws of our forefathers. They knew the way. But our forefathers didn't have boats the size of whales sailing above us. And they didn't have giant pipes going into the sea floor. Things have changed. Maybe if one of us were to, I, I don't know, start talking to a pretty human who knew about the stars. <laughs> Maybe we could think of a better way of doing things. I wish I could show you down there. I think you'd like it. Some humans have breathing machines, don't they? You, you could use one of those. Oh, you're not a good swimmer. Well, that would explain the whole nearly drowning thing, yes. I can teach you. We could practice together. It, if... <laughs> If you'd like. You would? Okay. Next time then. I'll teach you to swim better. And you can teach me about the stars. Oh, and the planets. And you can teach me all sorts of things. I really do have to go now. I can come back mm, three nights from now then I should be able to stay for longer. All right. And thank you for my name. Hello. You came back again. I'm always surprised you come back again. I worry that you won't. But I'm glad to see you. I thought the water was warm tonight, but it's even warmer in the air. Where's all your hair gone? Oh, there was so much last time, and now... Oh, all of it's been squished down in those braids. Really? All of it? Huh. Oh, because I'm teaching you to swim better, can you not... Can you not swim with hair? Uh, it just makes it easier. All right. <laughs> Humans are strange. Well, come on then. You're going to have to get in the water if I'm going to help you practice swimming. 
Don't you have to take your clothes off first? Can you not swim in clothes either? Oh, you have special swimming clothes. Oh, yes, I am staring. Your swimming clothes are much smaller than your normal clothes. A bikini. <laughs> That's a funny word. Come on. I won't let you drown, I promise. You're scared, you'll sink. I can hold you up. I'm very strong, don't worry. Come on. See? Easy. Put your hands on my shoulders and I'll hold you by the waist. You're as light as seaweed, don't worry. You are so squishy, though. You're so soft. <laughs> I, I would say to move your tail, but you have legs. Move your legs. That must do something similar. There, see? Now you're staying up much better. Well, we don't have to do anything else. We can just practice floating around like this. You're trying not to look at what? My chest. Oh, why? It's private. <laughs> no, it's not. You can look. <laughs> Is that what a bikini is for? For privacy? Hmm. Humans are modest creatures, aren't they? You can look at me, I don't mind. Well, see, now you're getting the hang of it. I'm not holding you as tightly. Not, not that I want to let you go. <laughs> You feel so soft and warm. It's nice. No, I, I don't have to rush off tonight. I planned better this time. I made some rather genius excuses, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so I can stay as long as you like. Oh, all right. I, I'd like to stay a long time too. Can I tell you something silly? Over the last few nights, I've been going to the surface a lot more to, well, just to look at the stars. Well, you say it's not silly, but I felt a little silly doing it. But they are very pretty. Well, and I figured you might be looking at them too. So... There was always a chance that we were both looking at the same thing at the same time. Well, I think so too. We must have matched up at some point. I would like a space fact. No. There's no sound in space. Well, you can't hear anything at all. Oh, that is strange. No, there are sounds underwater. Not as many as up here, but there's certainly noise. Uh-huh. Well, you can hear the whales. They're always saying something. Same with the dolphins. They're a chatty bunch. <laughs> oh, and parrotfish chewing on coral. Huh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It drives me mad. They're so loud. But I like listening to your voice. It's very gentle. <laughs> Tell me something else about space. But they have not. Humans have been on the moon. <laughs> you're, you're tricking me. That's just silly. Really? Well, how did they get up there? What's a rocket? Oh, like a, like a skyship. 
I'm still not sure I believe you. <laughs> that humans are amazing. You go wherever you want and if you can't breathe the water or the air then you'll figure out a way. <laughs> I'd like to go to the moon. Just to see what it was like. Hear what silence sounds like. Oh, I have a question. How many stars are there? As in all together? Oh, you don't know. Well, could you find out, please, for next time I see you? Oh, nobody knows. Has no one counted? So it's like, if you ask me how many grains of sand there are in the sea, there's just far too many. Huh. Wow. Well, space must be much bigger than I thought it was. Thank you for teaching me all of this. It's very kind of you. I don't think I really have much interesting things to say. You know so much already about all sorts of things. I only know about me and my family and down below. Do you think I'm interesting? <laughs> I think you're tricking me again. <laughs> oh, helping you practice swimming is easy, I mean... It means I get to come and see you. It's a bit one-sided, isn't it? Well, you can come in the water, but I can't really go on land, so... Thank you for coming back, I, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. What do I do every day? Um... Swim? <laughs> well, that's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> that's a stupid answer. <laughs> but, um... What do we do? We we hunt for food. Oh, well, we eat all sorts of things, but we're carnivores, mostly. See? My sharp teeth. So, um, fish, mostly. Though I do love squid when I can catch them. Um, we check our territories, see what boats are in the area, if any humans are poking about, um, if we need to move on for a while. It depends whether the whales are migrating too, otherwise things get crowded. But then the older ones tell their stories about the ancestors, about what we should do. The same stories all the time, and that's it, really. The same things again and again. It's very boring. No one wants to learn new things. They want to go back to the old ways. Oh, that's a lot like up here too. Oh dear. <laughs> well, well, then we're not that different, are we? Are you getting tired? Oh, I imagine so. You're not used to it. Yeah, get more like this, there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Well, now my face is very close to your face. Is this considered awkward for humans? Not because I rather like being this close to your face. <laughs> oh. What was that? Is that a type of greeting? A kiss? Do humans do that when your faces get this close? Oh, only for very special people. Oh. Can I kiss you back then? I think you're very special as well. And I do think that your squishy human legs are getting tired. So, as much as I like having close faces and doing kisses, 
I think you should sit back on the rock ledge. I can still stay though, can't I? <laughs> All right. Oh, you brought something? Oh, a book. Oh, this is what they look like dry. Oh, look at it. There's so many little squiggles. You'd read a book to me. A whole one. Is it your favourite book? Jane Eyre. Oh, that's her name. Oh, yes, please. I'd love to stay and listen. Hello. Oh, did I surprise you? I'm sorry. I guess I was sneaky tonight. I saw your feet in the water as I swam up. You're definitely not so scared now, are you? Did you bring your bit... Your... <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> yes, your bikini. Bikini. Did you bring it? Oh, then would you like to practice swimming some more, then? Oh, before we do that, I have a surprise. Well, you brought me that lovely book to read to me last time, and you've told me all sorts of things about the surface, so I wanted to bring you some of my things to show you. It's sounding a little silly now that I say it out loud. <laughs> They're not as nice as your things, I don't think. Oh, you don't think it's silly? What would you like to see? Well, I brought my bag with me. I make bags out of fishing nets that I find. I think they're useful. Mother says it's morbid, which I suppose it's true. Also, not a lot of the fish are impressed when they see me carrying one, but... Anyways. Oh, you like it? Well, I can make you one if you like. For your books. You have so many to carry. This will make it easier. You really would like to see my things. Oh, I'll lay them out for you. This, this um, shell is very unusually shaped and but quite large for its type, and I've never really seen another like it, so I carry it around with me in case I come across a crab that needs a new shell but can't find one. Maybe their body is a little oddly shaped or something, and then I come along and ta-da! Emergency shell ready to use. So I keep that with me. Then this is my knife. Um, we carve them out of bone. This is seal bone. It's very tough but sharp as well. We can cut away nets or fishing lines if we see anyone stuck or maybe we just want to cause mischief. <laughs> no, we don't usually hunt with our knives. Anything that's small enough for us to eat we just catch with our hands. Oh yes, we are very fast. There's not much that can outswim us. No, I made it too. I like making things. See, I carved the handle with little waves. I could make you a knife too, if you like. I like making people things. But they think it's silly a lot of the time. But I don't think you'd say that to me. You're very kind to me. You don't mind that I'm a little unusual. <laughs> no, I think you're wonderful. You're so clever and you can remember all of these things and I think you're very brave for learning to swim even though you don't have a tail because I really can't imagine trying to swim properly with bendy little legs and quite honestly toes make me feel very uncomfortable. 
<laughs> but yes, you're you're a very good listener and a very good reader, and you're really very beautiful. Oh, I think so. I've seen a lot of humans from a distance, but still. You all look quite similar. It's hard to tell some of you apart, but you. Oh, I've never seen anyone like you. If I told you something serious, I don't think you would laugh, but could you still promise not to? It all makes me a little sad. Very sad, really. Well, that I like you so much. Because you have to be up here, and I have to be down there, and... Everyone keeps talking that I should be mated already, but... I was never that much interested before, and now I don't like to think about it because if I wanted to be mated to someone, I would want to be mated to you, but... Oh, have I splashed water on your face accidentally? Why is it wet? What's... What's crying? <laughs> you humans are strange, aren't you? Does that mean you're sad about it too? Is it odd that I'm happy that we're both sad? <laughs> Just because, well... It means we both feel the same way then, doesn't it? Perhaps we'll think of something. <laughs> no. No, I don't. I don't think we can tell anyone. I think that would end very badly. Hmm. I didn't show you my favourite thing. It's this rock I found when I was very small. And it comes apart into halves like this, see? And inside, it's all beautiful and shiny, but also look, look closer. See? There's an image like a piece of a leaf or something. I don't think it's seaweed, not any sort I've seen. A, f a fossil. Fossil? Did I say that right? A fossil. What's a fossil? Oh, so it's like making a print in the sand and then the print stays forever and ever. Huh. You're so clever. Your mind is very large inside your very small head. <laughs> well, perhaps your head isn't small, it just looks that way when your hair is so fluffy. <laughs> Can I ask another question, and you promise not to laugh again? Well, last time you showed me what a kiss was, and I've thought an awful lot about it. Um, so could we... Do that again. To practice. We can practice swimming at the same time. I can hold you up. What was that human saying you told me? <laughs> killing two birds with one stone. Though I don't think you should be killing anything with stones. Oh, you're getting much better. See, you can hold yourself up now. I don't have to worry about you falling out of a boat and drowning. Oh, I do worry. 
I keep imagining you looking up at the stars somewhere and falling in the water and I'm not there to save you. But now you can save yourself. Well, I suppose I could help you float. <laughs> if you're feeling so very tired. That was a joke, wasn't it? <laughs> it's very odd, isn't it? Kissing. But we like odd things, don't we? You and I. Promise you'll keep visiting me. I just don't think I can go back to being so lonely. Ah, oh, no, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going anywhere. Hi. I'm glad you're here. No, I know we said not tonight, but I wanted to check, and I'm glad I checked. <laughs> you came to check as well, so we should have just met up in the first place. I need some help. I've gotten hurt. No, my tail. I don't know if you can actually help, but... You're the first person I thought to ask. And you won't yell at me either. Well, because I was maybe somewhere I shouldn't have been. You still can't swim very well, can you? Well, you've gotten much better, but you can't go down that far. I can get up on the rocks. You might have to help me. Oh, I can be out of the water, don't worry. At least I think I can, I've never really tried it before. There's not a lot of space up here. I'm very long, but there, by my fin. Yes, that is a very large hook. I just... I wanted to see the boat. And I wanted to learn things. Like how you look up at the stars, I wanted to look up at the surface. But they had these big hooks hanging down, but I didn't notice until it went through my fin. And then I started getting pulled back by the invisible string that they use, and I managed to cut it with my knife, but the hook is still there. I had to swim slower than usual to get here. It took a while. But if I went home with a hook in my fin, I'd have a lot of explaining to do. Where are you going? Oh, what's a car? So, like a land boat. First aid kit? Oh, medicine. Okay. I, I can stay here. I'm just... I'm so tired. Hmm? I fell asleep. I did swim a long way. Oh, the hook is out. You're very clever. I know I tell you that a lot, but it's true. I'm glad you did it while I was sleeping too, but that doesn't hurt too badly what you're doing now. What are you? doing now? Sewing the hole up. Oh. 
You humans really are barbaric sometimes. You just sew yourselves back up. Goodness. Oh, my skin is a lot tougher than yours, I suppose. You lot seem to break a lot more easily. Ow. <laughs> I can move it. It's sore, but I can move it. What's that? Anti an antiseptic. <laughs> no, I trust you. Always. Thank you for sewing me back together. <laughs> what else did you get from your car? You store a lot in your land boat. Well, that's true, it did all come in handy. Oh, a floor blanket. I can shuffle over onto it, see? It, <laughs> it is a lot harder to move on land. I'm starting to see how legs might actually be useful, even if they look silly. It feels strange to be out of the water for so long. Everything is very still up here. And so much empty space. Oh, my hair is drying. How strange. I don't think I've ever felt it dry before. It feels crinkly. Oh, are you lying down too? Here, next to me. I like this floor blanket very much. I shouldn't have gone to look at the boats. <laughs> well, I might just avoid going home until it's better. Say I scraped it on some coral or something. They can be quite sharp sometimes. Well, then they'll just have to wonder where I've gone. I don't have to tell them everything. Everyone was getting mad again that I haven't accepted anyone's proposals to be mated. But I don't like any of them. I like you. And I usually just brush it off and make excuses, but this time I said that they can all stop bothering asking at all because the answer will always be no and I'm tired of repeating myself. Well, that didn't go down well, did it? So I swam off to go and look at the boats and then this happened. <laughs> But at least I got to see you, so, silver linings. Yes, I'd like it very much if you kept me company while I'm here. If you're not too busy learning about stars. Oh, your school building is on a break. Oh, well, that's helpful then. I'm glad you get breaks from learning. Your brain must get very exhausted. I'm alright, just a bit floaty and tired. Yes, I think I bled a bit more than I realised. Can I see your hands up close again? I just like them. Your fingers are all so separate. I like mine webbed together, thank you. It seems more structurally sound that way. And I don't know how you get anything done without claws. No, I like your hands. They're stubby and cute. 
little human hands for human things. I wish I could just stay here with you. But tails aren't very good for living on land, are they? You need to get one of those breathing devices with the little cylinders on the back. I could show you all sorts of things. And what's a shopping trolley? Oh, a tiny land boat. <laughs> yes, you could, you could put me in one of those and wheel me about. I like this plan very much. <laughs> oh, you have new braids in your hair. I did notice the pattern is different. Mm -hmm. The last ones you had were much thicker. Well, both are nice. I like both. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to keep holding on to your fingers, I think. Can I ask a silly question? kiss again. I've just been thinking about it a lot. How soft you are. Yes? Touching my face, part of kissing, part of doing more. Do you want to do more? <laughs> I can touch your face back. I like your face very much. <laughs> it's so pretty. And your hair. I love your hair. You, you can touch elsewhere if you'd like. You can put your hands on my chest. No. It feels nice. I know that I don't wear clothes, but you can keep yours on. Only if you want to. Not even wearing a bikini. <laughs> and I can touch you there as well. <laughs> Your skin has gone all bumpy. Goosebumps. Well, that's a silly name. It means you like it. Well, I'm glad you like it. <coughs> Are you taking your bottom clothes off as well? I'll admit I've perhaps been a bit curious about what's under there. <laughs> you can have my hand, but what are you doing with it? I just want to be gentle. My nails are very sharp. 
no, no. Show me what to do. <laughs> Your breathing is so much fun. I have another silly question. Well, between your legs, it, it suddenly feels very wet. <laughs> That's a good thing, okay. <laughs> like goosebumps. I'm glad it feels nice then. I only want you to feel nice things. You're enjoying it so much. Does that mean I can keep touching you all over? Oh, good. Because I really don't want to stop. Oh no, don't say that. Don't say what a beautiful night. Because you of all people shouldn't test fate, that's why. Knowing how good your luck is, there's definitely going to be a storm now. There will be, you'll see. Mm -mm, it doesn't matter that there aren't any clouds. We'll get further out to sea, and the skies will crash and boom, and the rain will start pouring. <laughs> now, I won't mind getting wet, but you, little human, are not wearing your special swimming clothes. <laughs> well, at least this little boat is much more sturdy than the last one you went out in. Goodness me, you're lucky I came along. Well, and also I'm here now, so no matter the boat, you won't drown. Not while I'm around. No, never. I mean, you can sort of swim now. Please don't go swimming without my supervision. No, I'd never be mad at you. But I'd be very worried. Thank you. <laughs> the boat isn't too heavy to push, don't worry. Especially now we're past the waves. I'm very strong. Besides, I like doing things for you. Making things easy for you. Especially what because you've seemed so stressed lately. No, I know your exams are important. You want to be a doctor of space so badly. I know. But I just think humans are a little silly sometimes. Why so much worry about words on pieces of paper? Papers can't bite you, or eat you, or hunt you. You can't get sick from a paper. A piece of paper can't even chase you, or say mean things. Well, I suppose if someone wrote mean things on the paper, then it could. But that would be the person writing's fault, not the paper's fault. Anyway. Well, if you fail, they should let you try again. Until you do get it right. That's how the world should work. Because I said so. <laughs> and anyway, that's why we're doing this. To help you study. And to get you outside. I would have preferred in the daytime. I think you need some sunshine. But it's harder to be sneaky in the daytime. 
I dare say some people would notice us floating out here. I think there would be questions. <laughs> and you can't see the stars in the daytime, I guess, so... Yes, it's probably not preferable to do this in the daytime. <laughs> well, promise me, then, that tomorrow, when you're back on land, you'll walk away from your books and papers and glowing screens and you'll go outside and lay in the grass and soak up all of the sunshine you can. Just lay there doing nothing. Well, if you fall asleep, then that's even better. But do you promise? Do you double promise? <laughs> well, now, if you don't keep that promise, then I will be mad. It is possible for me to be mad. I can get very mad. Sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> well, good. Now, I know I wouldn't have to push the boat out if you use the motor, but... They're so unpleasant, motors. You can hear them for miles away, under the water. Even the little ones are like these. And they scare the smaller fish. And the sharks are always terrified of them. But sharks are terrified of lots of things, the silly creatures. <laughs> Have I told who what? Oh. Well, I really haven't been home, not since before we, you know. So no, I haven't told any of them a single thing. Well, there's no reason to go home. Not really. I don't like being there. I mean, I'm fully grown after all. Why be there when all they do is poke and prod and poke some more. Well, I've kind of just been swimming about, staying closer to the shore, closer to you. I'm happier here. I think I'm happier than I've ever been before. Well, I can think of one reason why that might be the case. Well, that's got nothing to do with it. I'm not scared to go home. Maybe a little concerned. I mean, we made it. No, I don't regret a thing. Not at all. Not ever. But you know me, I'm not the best at lying. Imagine if I told them that, no, sorry, I can't be mated to any of the males you choose, or anyone else, for that matter. Why? Oh, it's just there's a human girl I've been meeting up with for months, in secret. Also, we happen to have mated already. Nothing to worry about. Honestly, I don't even know what would happen. They'd be mad, I know that for sure. Furious. Oh, everyone. All of them. They already think I'm a little strange, but if they knew, they'd think I'd lost my mind altogether. Exile. Surely, that would have to happen. Which would be fine by me. I've basically exiled myself anyways. Oh, it's so much more peaceful. I didn't realise how much all their noise bothered me until I didn't have to listen to it every second of the day. And what about you? If your family, your community knew... 
<laughs> they think you were crazy too. <laughs> oh. Yes, I mean, it would mean having to reveal myself, wouldn't it? And everyone else like me. No, I can't see that going well either. I guess we'll both just have to get better at keeping secrets then, huh? I'm still a little worried, I guess. Well, because... Mm, the ocean is a very big place, but word seems to spread so fast. Especially if the whales have something to say. I don't know how humans are, but all of us underneath... We eat up information as if we were starving. <laughs> I guess that is why I ask so many questions. <laughs> but you always answer them for me. <laughs> it's hard enough to keep a secret, but if someone finds out a particularly interesting piece of gossip, well, there's not much hope in containing it. Like an oil spill. You'd be cleaning up forever. <laughs> and how would I come and live with you on land exactly? I'd get all dry and crinkly. What's a pool? <laughs> well, yes, you can put me in your car and take me to a pool and I'll live there. I like this plan. <laughs> And you can practice swimming with me, and I won't have to worry about a wave coming along and knocking you about. And I'd get to see you all the time. I miss you too. When you're gone. Will this do? To look up at the sky? Still no clouds, that's good. Ah, but... Just give it a matter of time. You and your bad luck, there'll be a storm tonight for sure. <laughs> so, don't be stressed about books and paper. Just let yourself forget that the land even exists for now and tell me stories about sky science. We're going to float about here, heads craned upwards, and you're going to list off everything you've been cramming into your brain that you have to write back out on these papers. So, take a deep breath and tell me everything there is to know about the sky and the stars. <laughs> 